You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Monday, the 17th of April. Russia's Deputy PM meets India's Foreign Minister Jay Shankar, free trade deal on agenda. Pakistan's Interior Minister rules out elections on May 14th despite top court order. And people in Nepal swear each other with vermilion to mark traditional New Year. And now for all the details. India and Russia are discussing a free trade agreement, ministers said on Monday. A move that would further deepen bilateral commercial ties that have flourished since war broke out in Ukraine. Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar during India-Russia business dialogue in New Delhi said that the Indian government was in advance agreement on a trade treaty that Russia's Deputy PM Denis Mantharov said would bring a guarantee of bilateral investment. While India has urged for a peaceful resolution in the Russia-Ukraine conflict, New Delhi has continued its historic ties with Moscow. Russia, a traditional defense equipment supplier, has also become India's top supplier of crude oil. Moscow was looking to increase machinery imports from India to improve the trade balance, Montarov said. Jayshankar said that New Delhi was working to iron out payments, certification and logistics issues. The two leaders will hold a meeting of the Intergovernmental Commission on Tuesday. Our partnership today is a subject of attention and comment. Not because it has changed, but because it has not. Indeed, it has been among the steadiest of the major relationships of the world in the contemporary era. But that by itself is not enough. We share a commitment to a multipolar world, and that also means a multipolar Asia. And police in India's northern border state of Punjab on Monday arrested a soldier in connection with last week's killing of four other soldiers at a military base. The four were shot dead in their sleep in barracks at the Matinda military base last Wednesday. Police officials said the killings were motivated by personal enmity. In a statement, the army said the accused soldier had confessed to his involvement in stealing an assault rifle and killing his four colleagues. The statement said the accused had tried to divert suspicion from himself by saying he had seen two men flee. The Indian Army practices zero tolerance of such acts of indiscipline, the statement added, vowing to ensure punishment according to the law. I was told that the personal ranges were not going to be able to get the same thing. I was told that well, Pakistan's Interior Minister Rana Sanaullah on Sunday cautioned State Bank of Pakistan officials against dispersing 21 billion Pakistani rupees to the Election Commission of Pakistan for holding polls in Punjab and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, saying that the money would be recovered from whoever authorizes the payment. The remarks came after Pakistan's Supreme Court on Friday directed the central bank to issue funds for provincial snap polls. Talking to media, Sanaullah questioned when the central bank did not even have the authority to execute an act, how could they exercise it on the Supreme Court's orders? He also asserted elections to the Punjab Assembly would not be held on May 14th, despite the court order. He reiterated the government's stance and said elections will be held together in the country. The top judiciary and the government have been locked in a standoff over the snap elections at a time when Pakistan faces a crippling economic slowdown. An auto rickshaw drivers recently held a massive protest in Pakistan's Lahore city over skyrocketing prices of gas and lamented they are on the brink of destitution. They said they are fed up of successive governments which have failed to control the soaring inflation. Scores of auto rickshaw drivers held a protest recently in Pakistan's Lahore city, lamenting the frequent hike in prices of LPG liquefied petroleum gas and raised concern over soaring inflation. The protesters of the Awami Rickshaw Union said that the price of LPG is Rs 210, but it is being sold for Rs 300 per unit as they blamed mafias were involved in black marketing. They said they are fed up of successive governments which have failed to manage the ongoing economic crisis. LPG लड़ाई झगड़े के बगैर कोई थोड़ा दे देगी इस तरह तो लड़ाई झगड़ा ही रहता है सवारी के साथ भी जाहिर बात है वो भी कोई मीर तरीन लोग नहीं होते जो हमारे साथ रिक्शे में बैठते हैं अमीर जब भी टीवी ऑन करते हैं या मोबाइल ऑन करते हैं पीडीएम की लड़ाई अदलिया की लड़ाई 
और पी की लड़ाई पकड़ लो पर्चे दे दो ये इनकी आपस जाती लड़ाई है आवाम के लिए कोई बंदा बात करने के लिए तैयार नहीं है आवाम को कोई बंदा रिलीफ देने के लिए तैयार नहीं है Pakistan has less than a month's worth of foreign exchange reserves and is awaiting a bailout package of 1.1 billion dollars from the IMF that has been delayed since November over issues related to fiscal policy adjustments. The fiscal adjustments have already fueled Pakistan's highest inflation ever, which climbed in March to more than 35%. And moving on, Taliban's Minister of Mines and Petroleum Shahabuddin Dilawar said that a Chinese company has expressed its interest in investing $10 billion to mine the country's massive lithium reserves and help construct other infrastructure there. Dilawar met the Chinese company representatives in Kabul and said that the investment would create 120,000 direct and a million indirect jobs in the country. The Taliban arguably perceives Beijing as a potential source of economic investment following the US withdrawal since the Taliban takeover in 2021 China has increased its influence via economic ties with the current regime the Taliban ruled Afghanistan saw its first significant foreign investment in January 2023 when a Chinese firm signed a 25 year or long multi million dollar contract to extract oil And the Neva community in Nepal painted the Bhaktapur city in the colors of the vermilion as the people come together to welcome the lunar new year during the annual Sindur Jatra. Take a look. The Neva community of Thimi in Nepal painted the Bhaktapur city in red as the people came together at the Bal Kumari temple's front yard to welcome the lunar new year during the annual Sindur or vermilion jatra. Celebrated on the second day of the traditional new year, Devotees carry idols of different deities in a total of 32 palanquins singing and dancing to traditional beats. The dawn of red starts with the touring of the palanquins by devotees who take three rounds of the Bal Kumari temple. Participants from all age groups were seen smearing the vermilion on each other's faces as well as throw it in the air in good jest. Today battle shuru huncha. Kes madhe chidi kali ko dadra huncha sar pratham यो नया वर्ष में एक गटे चाहिए आज दुई गटे चाहिए तब को यो बालकमाड़ी मंदिर को मेन मंदिर मेन मुख्य एवटा चाह बालकमाड़ी भाई आज यहाँ यो यो बालकमाड़ी को जात्रा हो आज तब को शनिवार पड़े को ले दक्षिण बाराई भाई ठाव में जा दक्षिण बाराई को जात्रा मेन त्या घूमना जा द फेस्टिवल अल्सो मार्क्स द एडवेन्ट अफ द स्प्रिंग सीजन The vermilion powder which is smeared on each other and thrown up in the air is a symbol of prosperity. An Asceticogenarian in India Chandigarh city Mohan Singh promises to win the hearts of lovers of all things music and vintage with his gramophones and record player collection. Singh started his collection with two record players in 1975, one of which was a hand-me-down from his grandfather. From records of legendary Indian playback artist Mohammad Rafi to renowned singer Mukesh, who Singh considers his favorite, the collector has at least 2000 records in his collection. His experience of repairing watches as a professional during the earlier days of his life helps him to maintain the collection. Ek mera nephew hai Bhatija वो कनेडा में रहता है उसने आकर दोबारे मुझको शौक दोबारे चालू किया मेरा उसके बाद मैंने कलेक्शन शुरू की पहले थोड़ा कलेक्शन था अब मेरे पास सोलह मशीनें हैं तीन सौ काट पत्थर का है और सतारह सौ काट ईपी और एलपी पी प्लास्टिक